example of second grade this is module two lesson three our objective today is i can apply concepts to create unit rulers and measure lengths using unit rulers okay so we're going to start off by doing our counting and we did this the other day we started at 20 but this time we're going to start at 40. so remember when you see this arrow you're going to continue counting from that number but go backwards and if you see this arrow you're going to continue counting from that m number forwards all right let's try this remember we're starting at 40 here we go 40 41 42 43 oh go backwards now 42 41 40 Switching again, going forwards, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now we have to go backwards, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. We're going forwards again. Now you continue counting on your own. Here we go. Good work. That can be a little tricky, but you did an excellent job. Okay, so now we're going to identify the missing part to make the next 10. So if the soccer ball tells us 9, what do we need to add to the soccer ball to make 10? One. So 9 plus 1 equals 10. Let's see if you can do the next one. 5. So how many more do we need to add to the soccer ball to make 10? Let's see. 5. Did you say 5? Excellent job. Oh, we're getting into bigger numbers now. So 15. What's the next 10? That's the first thing you need to think about. What is the next 10 after 15? 20. So if I have 15, how many more do I need to make to make 20? 5. Did you say 5? If you did, excellent job. All right, you do this next one on your own. Did you say 5? Good job. How about 16? How many more to make the next 10? 4. If you said 4, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. 24 is our next number. How many more? We need 6. Good job. All right, here's our application problem for today. It's and remember these application problems you can solve these however you would like to whatever you're comfortable with using any strategy that we have learned so far so it says Ron has 65 chocolate frog cards Harry has eight more cards than Ron how many chocolate frog cards does Harry have go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done all right so you should have solve this and let's see if you solved it the same way I did I added 65 plus 8 what answer did you get did you get 
73. If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, so this is my ruler here. And this is a centimeter ruler. Now, if you notice, the numbers go up from 0 to 20. So just by looking at this, this centimeter ruler, how many centimeters are on this ruler? Did you say 20 centimeters? If you did, you're absolutely correct. There are 20 centimeters on this ruler right now. Now, there's also another way you can write centimeters. You can spell it out, or you could write 20 cm. Cm is an abbreviation for centimeters. So, when you label things, you can just write cm, and that would mean centimeters, instead of having to write out the entire word centimeters. Okay, so I have Harry's wand here, and I want to know how long is his wand? How many centimeters long is his wand? Now, we lined up the end of this wand, the wand here at the zero. That's where we want to start. And then we see where is the other end. It looks like it's lined up at about the 20 here. So you can say that Harry's wand is 20. But if you say Harry's wand is 20, what do you mean? 20 what? 20 frogs long? No, that's silly. It's 20 centimeters long. So if you just tell me 20, I'm not going to know what you're, tell you're talking about. So you need to tell me they're 20 centimeters long. So Harry's wand is 20 centimeters long. And you can use the abbreviation CM. All right. So this corn on the cob looks pretty yummy. Let's see how long it is. Now, we lined up the end of the corn here with the zero because that's where we want to start. Now, let's see. Here's the other end. Where does it line up to? It lines up to about the 14 here. So we can say that this corn is 14. 14 what? 14 centimeters long. Don't forget to add that ending to label. All right, I've got a beach ball here. And I need to figure out how many centimeters long this is. Go ahead and write down your answer looking at this ruler here make sure you're lining it up with the end of this speech ball here and don't forget to label did you say that this beach ball was nine centimeters long if you did give yourself a kiss on the brain mm, i love dr pepper Let's see how long this Dr. Pepper can is. Write your answer. Did you say that this Dr. Pepper can is about 12 centimeters long? I hope you wrote the abbreviation CM to label that it's centimeters and it's not frogs long long. Ooh, here's my favorite Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's the fifth book in the series. So let's see, how long is this book? Did you write 16 centimeters? You did. Good job. Oh, I had a sandwich for lunch today. Let's see how long that sandwich was. Now I have some cheese that's coming out of the end, so you need to make sure you line up the cheese. Make sure you get the cheese at the end here, too. Write your answer down. Did you say 18 centimeters long? If 
you did a good job. Now remember, this goes past the 17 and almost to 18. So we're going to say that it's about 18 centimeters long. It's longer than 17, so we have to say about 18 centimeters. Ooh, look at this yummy lollipop. Write down how many centimeters long this lollipop is. Did you write seven centimeters? This lollipop is about seven centimeters long. Very good. How about this toy airplane? Go ahead and write down your answer. Did you write that this toy airplane is about 10 centimeters long? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Okay, so for this seesaw, this one's going to be a little bit different. Your teacher is going to hand you the piece of paper with um, that looks like this with your EXA ticket on it so that you can measure these lines using your own ruler. So you'll need this paper and you'll need your ruler to measure these lines. When you're done, you can take a picture of the paper after you have written all your answers on the paper and you can send it to your teacher. Good luck.